Welcome back to the channel, guys. We've traveled quite a bit of ways here. We're outside of Welland Honda in Niagara, Ontario to film the 2022 Honda Civic. We got the EX model today. This is most likely the one that most of you are gonna purchase. There's been a lot of cosmetic changes on the exterior, nice new interior design. We're gonna go through it and let's check it out. So this Honda Civic has an MSRP of 26,765. Now this is probably the model that most of you are gonna buy. It certainly offers a lot of value here. Everybody knows somebody who has owned a Civic. Super popular, it's definitely a class leader in this subcompact sedan market. And now Honda's really pushed the limits. They've changed up the exterior styling. When you take a look at the front, you can see it's gonna come with quite a bit of technology here. Standard is LED headlights. I love that on the Civic. You get the LED headlights, LED daytime running lights. If you want fogs, you gotta go up to like the Touring or the Sport models, but you still get all that Honda safety. Um, so there's a sensor right in the front, which is gonna help with all our safety features, which we're gonna get into in a second. Let's check out the power plant. So Honda hasn't changed really much to the power plant, but you can get this in two engine configurations. This one being the EX model, you're gonna get the two liter four cylinder engine, which is pumping out about 158 horsepower and 138 pounds feet of torque. You're gonna get a CVT transmission, no manual unless you wanna go with the hatchback, front wheel drive only, and it's gonna give you about 6.9 liters combined per 100 kilometers or about 36 miles per gallon. Nothing too exciting under the hood, but if you want to get excited, I would consider the SI models or those Type R models that are super exciting and have some nice power plants. As always guys, if you like what you see here, make sure you subscribe. If you guys are interested in purchasing a vehicle or have questions about the vehicle, do not hesitate to visit the Welland Honda website, but let's check out the changes they've made to the side profile, starting with the aluminum alloy 16 inch rims here come right on this EX package. You have nice turning signals right on your mirrors here. Body colored mirror caps, handles, which I like. You have the keyless entry as well to enter and exit the vehicle. As we come around to the back, again, nothing too exciting here, but if you do want to go up and get a little more spoilers, you can go up to the SI models. If you're wondering about the cargo space, it's got a nice, pretty large trunk there for this subcompact segment, 14.7 cubic feet of cargo capacity or 419 liters of cargo volume. So pretty big trunk. You got a 60-40 split for the seats as well, and you can fold those down. So let's jump inside and start it up. Now you can use the remote starter that comes right on the key here if you wanna start the car up from a distance, but we're just gonna use the push button start here and start it up. Six way, Manual adjustable driver's seat on the CX model, four-way passenger as well. Uh, but you do get quite a few features here. These seats are heated and you have the heated steering wheel, which is nice for infotainment in this 11th generation Civic. You can see here we have the seven inch touchscreen. It's gonna do um, all the necessities here, your Apple CarPlay, your Android Auto, your Bluetooth connectivity. It's also gonna come with eight speakers as well. Um, for the AM FM sound system. With a full on dance routine in his sleep for all I know. It's surprisingly a really good sound system that I like. Um, I also kind of like below the screen what they did here. They added this, like these are your vents here, uh, but they continued the cover for the vent and they added it all throughout the dash. And that basically sets kind of a divider here for your front dash here. And then you drop down to your dual temperature controls, which is here, your heated seat controls, USB is down below, and then we have our um, auto start stop assist, which you can turn on and off, so it will stop for you when you are at a red light or you're idling to save on fuel, it'll shut the engine off. And then you have your economy mode and your electric park and brake as well. Backup camera comes on automatically when you put it in reverse. Um, not, I like the backup camera, it could be a little better, but I do like these different views here. Um, you can see there's our top down angle, we have the wide angle, and then our circular angle as well, but I like the wide angle. Uh, so it makes it just easier when you're parking, and then you have the guidance lines as you turn here. Like I said, I'm so surprised by everything in this car. I'm surprised by the nice light of the interior, and I'm surprised by the back seat. There is a surprising amount of room back here. Um, you can see I got a lot of space for my knees. There's two USBs as well to charge my phone. 
three passengers back here, very comfortable, or I can use the center armrest here with my two cup holders, cup holder in each door. Uh, no complaints about the rear seat. There's a lot of space back here. Now there's no denying that the Civic is a leader in its class, definitely uh, is at the top. And Honda's put everything that they have in this. They put a lot of thought into the body lines and they've also put a lot of thought into how it drives. Um, here is some of my favorite things that I like, and that is the safety features. So you get a lot of safety features like the collision uh, mitigation detection system or braking system. You get the lane departure warning, you get the blind spot information system. I also like the adaptive cruise control, which comes with that traffic jam assistant. So it will help um, basically keep you a safe distance from the car in front of you and sense the speed of the car in front of you and let you just kind of go slowly throughout the traffic jam um, and kind of get you through that uh, in an easier process. Behind the wheel, I like this nice information screen. So there's a nice digital information screen as well, which really stands out to me. And then there's a lot of information that can be displayed here, right on the wheel and behind the wheel. Blind spot information, like I said, it shows all of our sides and our sensors, that collision mitigation mitigation braking system. Hope I'm saying that properly. And then you have the road departure mitigation. So if I deviate from the lane, it's telling me and I get that haptic feedback from the wheel. So the wheel vibrates a little bit, but that's that growing of the CVT. Um, yes, there's no manual transmission in this, but the CVT is, it's pretty smooth. I'm not going to lie. Um, really good kind of, you don't really hear those high revs and, and it does have that grown to it, which is expected. I know a lot of car enthusiasts don't like the CVTs. Um, but this one, it seems okay, and CVTs have come a long way. In terms of space, like, it's, like I said when I looked at the back, it's surprisingly roomy back there, and it's surprisingly comfortable. This is really like an agile, kind of sporty sedan um, that does have a decent amount of acceleration and still fits that nice small city market. If you want kind of sport and styling, and you want to not have a big SUV or not have a big large size sedan and you live in a small city, like this is kind of perfect for what you need. And I do think Honda's kind of done it again. They, like there you go, that's a nice little smooth acceleration. Um, yeah, there's nice, so surprisingly fun little zippy car to drive. Like there's not too much more that I can say about it. So there you have it guys, fun little car to drive. Let me know what you guys think of the new Civic here. As always, subscribe to my channel. And if you guys wanna come drive this car personally, you're in the area, make sure you check out Welland Honda. And we're gonna put a link to their website down below. Have a great day.